Okay, well, guys, if you want to give us another direct tutorial, thanks for watching our videos online. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please do press the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see our educated videos online. We want to share this video with your friends, families, relatives, and colleagues at home. Thank you and God bless you. Amen. Today, I'm going to be considering what? The physics practical for year 2022. The Y physics practical for year 2022 under the branch of physics known as what? Electricity. And here we are provided with apparatus known as what? Potentiometer and ammeter, a starter resistor, cells, and all other what? Necessary materials. Connect the circuit as illustrated as illustrated in the diagram above. Now, this what? Materials provided to us now can be what? Can be arranged according to the circuit diagram what? Be above. Now we have to set up this what? This apparatus according to the what? The circuit diagram above. Now, looking at this very well, now we have a potentiometer what? A, B. A potentiometer what? A, A, B. Now we have an potentiometer A, B now. Now we have a, the positive end of the word battery. The positive end, this wire is going to the positive end of the battery. So this is the, this is the word, this is the cell. So these two cells make up of a word, the battery. So this is going to the battery. Why now? From this area in here, we have what the word, the standard resistor of what 2 ohm, which connect to the other side of the battery. So now these are standard resistor what 2 ohms, which connect directly to the what to the other side of the battery, which is the what negative end. Now, then from what the standard resistor 2 ohm to the what to the voltmeter, from voltmeter to the key, and from the key to the what. To the jockey, we have the jockey here. So now the jockey now to the what to the potential meter. So any point on this potential meter is what we call what T. So from what we have what we have the potential meter directly to the what battery from what from the other end of the battery to the what to the standard resistor from standard resistor to ammeter from ammeter to key and from the key to the what to the Jockey, so this is our setup for the what experiment now. Connect the circuit as it has in the diagram above. Use the jockey to make contact with the wire at the point T such that AT is equal to D equal to 20 centimeter. Now we are to make a contact from a point what A here to point T. So that it made a distance of what? Of 20 centimeters. So now we have to make a what? A contact from what? Here to 20 centimeters. So let's connect the what? The cell now together. Now we have what? We have this the connection here. You hold this one to the other side. And this one as well. Tightly, you hold this one tightly to the other side. Then you plug in your what? Your key. You close your key. Then this is your jockey to 20 centimeter. So your jockey to 20 centimeter here. So we have 20 centimeter, the other 20 centimeter. So this 20 centimeter. Okay, you have to connect to it. This is the positive end of what? So this is negative and this is to the positive. So that's it. We have what? We have this one positive, this one negative. So now connect to 20 now. Now to 20. So can you see now we have what? The reading here is what? 0 0.2 ampere. Now, when you connect this one to the positive end, you know that this one is going to the positive end. The other one to the negative end, we have what? We have 0 0.2. We have 0 0.2. We are using the scale below now. The scale below that is 0 0.55 ampere. 0 0.55 ampere. So that's that about what? 20. So 0 0.55 volt ampere. So your as your dinner, let's look at the table of values now. We have the serial number. The, the D itself, which is in centimeter, we have the serial number. Then 
what is our what? And I, which is our ampere. I is what? In ampere. So, and what? What other value I have to calculate? That what? Evaluate what? I inverse as well. So, we have what? I inverse, which is ampere what? Inverse. So, for the first one, which is what? Number one, which is 20 centimeter, 20.00, we have 0.55 ampere. So, now, for number two, three, four, five, then what? We have 40, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So, we have what? 30. Can they make it like we have what? 30. We have 40. We have 60. 50 rather. The market it as well. We have what? 60. We have 30, 40, 50, 60. Also, the market is we have what? 70. Have 70, then we have 85. This is what this is. Number 8, we have 85. So, so we are to what? find out what the value of what I is under this word. When the D is equal to 20 now, we get 0 0.55. When the D is equal to 30, what do we get? Now let's also carry out. You remember that this one is the positive end. This one goes to the positive end. So this is the positive end of the battery. So we need the key force. Connect the word. this to the positive end of the battery. Then this one to the what? To the negative word. And yeah, so let's hold it with this and the other one. So now close the key. Close the key. Then to do what? 20 watts. To the 30 now. 30. 30, 30. So here we have below what? This is what is not up towards uh, this is what this is zero point what zero point four five zero point four five zero point four five zero point four five so we have what zero point four five or plot this one zero point what four five so that's that so now next one is what forty so also, the positive end of this place connect to this place now, and the negative end force to this place. Then, the positive end, the positive end, close the key now. After you have done that, close the key. Then, after closing the key, then to 40 now. 40, we have to 40, we have 0 0.4. You can see. Is 0 0.4 to 40 and 0 0.4, so that's that as simple as that. So we have what 0 0.4 at 40. So now at 50, there's the first about it at 50. So negative, then the positive would do negative, positive, negative, positive. Then you close the key at 50. At 50, we have 3 point what? 3 point 0 0.35. 0 0.35. At 50, we have 0 0.35. You can see in between 3 and 4. 0 0.35. So, open this. 0 0.35. So, from there now, 60. 16. So as that our that is very very easy a simple experiment. So this one. So plug the key at 60. At 60. At 60. So at 60. At 60 we have exactly what 3. At 60 you can see this is 3. 0 0.3 at 60. 0 0.3 at 60. 0 0.3 0 at what? 60. Now, 
at 70 now, at 70, we are at 70 here. Connect this one to this side. At 70. Ensure you are plug your key first so you fix it at 70 at 70 jockey at 70 jockey at 70 0 0.25 you can see this is not exactly what 0. Point, yeah? this one is 0 0.28 because it's 0.28 because it's a little bit towards 0.28 avoid errors do parallels error is because so this is 0 0.28 0 0.28 0 0.28 so the last one here is what 85 85 now 85 85 we have 85 here. Let's so connect the word negative, the positive, the positive, then close your key. And the last one is 85. So we have 80, 85, 85. Wow. 85 is around. 85 is. 85 is 0. Point, let me tweet very well. 85 is there is around what, 2 point what? 0 0.25. 0 0.25. 0 0.25. So that's that about what? Imagine 0 point what? 25. Now let's go into what? Into the calculation. In calculation, let me pick my calculator. I've got the what the table of our value for I and D now. Now let's do that of what? I inverse. So I inverse is what? 1 divided by 0 0.55. 1 divided by 0 0.55 we have what? 1 divided by 0 0.55 we have 1.81 here. 1.81. To do the decimal place, let's leave it to 3 decimal places. 1.818. 1 divided by 0 0.45. What do we have? 2.222. Here we have what? 1 divided by 0 0.40. We have 2.500. So here we have what? 1 divided by 0 0.35. 0 0.285. 0, okay. Not 2 2.857. 2 2.8547. So now. We have what? 1 divided by 0 0.30. We have 3.333. 3. Then 1 divided by 0 0.28. We have 3.571. 3.571. And the last one is what? 1 divided by 0 0.25. Which is what? 4.000. So this is our values now. This is our values now. So before we continue, I will just like to what? Write the table of our values out because after I said I made your origins, plot a graph of I inverse. So we have to plot a graph of what? I inverse on the vertical axis and D on the horizontal axis. Plot a graph of what? I inverse on the vertical axis and D on the horizontal what? axis. So now I will write my table of values here. We have what? Graph of of i inverse graph of i inverse this is i inverse which is ampere ampere inverse and against what against 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 d d against d which is in what in centimeter against d which is in centimeter so graph of i inverse Against D which is centimeter. So let me draw the what the table of values here. The values that we are going to plot on the what on the graph before I hand my graph. So now we have what we have the I inverse, which is ampere inverse, ampere, not ampere, ampere, ampere inverse. 
We have what? We have the D. So we have the column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, you only need 8. So, 1 to 8. The first one is what? 20.000. So, approximately, we are going to use 20.020. 20. Then, this one is what? Can leave it as 20. So, we are plotting the graph now. 20. The next one is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, then 80, what? 85, 85, so, so that is that, about that, so, now, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, now, from here now, what is our first value here, now, you can see that the highest value here is what? 4.0, so we can produce this one to one decimal place, so we have 1.8, 2 2.2, 2.5, 2.9, 3.3, 3.6, then 4.0. Zero. So these are the words. These are this is our table of words. The table that we are going to use to plot the graph. This is the table we use to plot the graph. These are words. Our values for plotting the words, the graph. So let me add the words. The graph now. So I have found our what, graph now, and this is our table of value. We have to plot the graph of R inverse against what D centimeter. So we have to plot, plot the what, the graph of what graph graph of R inverse and this ampere what inverse against against the D. In the bracket what the D bracket what centimeter. So we have to plot the graph of I inverse against what D centimeter. And then what the first thing you need to do is what is to choose your scale. Now here we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. We can as well use what two centimeter represent what two centimeter represent 10 units on what on the I inverse that is two centimeter represent 10. Empire 10 what? 10 ampere per empire. That is how I'm trying to say that's what two centimeter here represent what 10 per ampere because we have 20, 10, 40, 50, 60, 70. So it's easy to use what two centimeter represent what 10 per ampere or what on I inverse what axis. So right now. On, on the what? On the what? D axis now. On the axis, we can easily use what? Since we have 1.8 and the large number here is what? 4.0. We can easily use what? 2 centimeter, 2 centimeter represent what? 0. Point what? 2 centimeter represent is 0. 0.5. Because 0. 0.5 times 10 will give you 5. So 2 centimeter represent what? 2 centimeter represent 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5 centimeter. So 0.5 centimeter on D axis on D axis. So two centimeter represents what? Ten per ampere on what? I inverse axis. The two centimeter represents what? 0.5 centimeter on what? On D axis. Now let's try and what? Pick our value here now. Look at this one is what? If you start reading, if this one be a uh, zero, this is a uh, zero. Comma what zero now? This is going to be what? This is going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Then we have what? 90. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So this one is our what? Our I. Inverse in ampere out inverse as well. So now this one we got 0. Point what? 0. 0.5, 1.0, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 
3.0, so this one will be what? This one will be D into bracket what? Bracket centimeter. So that is that. Now let's take our ruler and what? And rule the what? Line out. Yeah, what? So. I do know this straight line out now. So this is my vertical line, the horizontal line now. So that's that about that. So now let's begin to plot our graph now. We have 21 point what? 1.8. Now I don't know this now. This one is just what? This one, each each box here, each smaller box here means what 10 divided by 10. So meaning is this one is 1. So each box here is 1. But each box here means what 0 0.5 divided by 10. 0 0.5 divided by 10, which is what? It means each box here is 0 0.05. So two box we have what? Two box. We go what? Two box. We go what? Two times zero point zero what? Five, which is at zero point one. So two box is what? It's zero point one. Now to now locate what? One point eight now. We have one here. One one point one here. So one point two, one point three, one point four, one point five, one point six, one point seven, one point eight. So one point eight is here. 1.8 against what? 20. That's the first. 1.8 against what? 20. So now the next one is what? The next one is 2.2. 2.2 against 30. This is 2.1. This is 2.2. 2.2 against what? 30. 2.2 against 30. So we have another one here. Another point here. So 2.2 against 30, 2.1, 2.2 against 30. Now the next one is what? 2.5 against 40. 2.5 against 40. 2.5 against 40. This is what? 2.5 and then this is what? 40. The next one is what? The next one is... The next one is what? Let's look at what? This is 40. The next one is... 50 against 2.9, 50 against 2.9. This is 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 50 against 50, 2.9 against what? 50, 2.9 against 50. So that's another point here. So 2.9 against what? 50. So now, 6. 60 against what 3.3. So this is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 is there, 3.3 is there. Against what 60. Against 60, we have one year as well. So now the last one there is what? 85 against what? 85 against 4. So this is 4. And then this is 80, this 80, this is 70, 80, and 85 is here. Is 80 or 85? 85 against what? So now here we have what? Our plotted value we have. We have what? We have the 60. I think we have omitted what? One, one here. 3.6. 3.6. We haven't plot what? 3.6. So we just jump to what? 85 against 4.0. So 70 against what? 3.6 now. 70 against 3.6. All of those are correct. So, so let's go to 70 against 3.6. So this is 3.5, 3.6. So 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6,
against 70, 3.6 against 70, 3.6 against 70. Look at this 3.25, 3.6, 3.6 against what? 70. This is 70 here. So we have another point here. So we have another point here. So we have another point here. So that's that about that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it has already complete. So we have what? We have the 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, then 85. Now let's what? Let's now draw the what? The, our straight line. We have measured our straight line with the graph. And so now, the straight line now. Let's see how many points does it take. I have a lot of points here. One, two, three, four. So that's the maximum of what for I'm trying to do for the better amount that we okay, we we'll do the job very well. So we have what? So we have one, two, three, four. So at least we have four lines. We have what? Four. So now let me draw it so that it will what? We touch the what? The intercept. The intercept. The on the way to touch the horizontal what? Line. So we have what we have. So now, let's draw now. So this is so let me emphasize my point. This is what this is. This is another point. This is another what point. This is another what point. Passes through this, but not actually through it much. So, so that's that's our right. now let's now calculate what the slope now determine the slope and the intercept. Now our intercept here is what the intercept here will be what 1.2. So the intercept here on the horizontal as this is intercept on the horizontal as which is c is equal to what c is equal to 1.2 what zero centimeter. This is 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. 1.1, this is supposed to be 1.1. So this is what? No, we said what? Two boxes represent what? 0.1. So 0.1 here, that is 1.0. This, this two boxes is 0.1. So it will be what? 1.10. So our intercept is 1.10. So 1.10, So this place is 1. Point, this point here is 1.10. So our Intercept is 1.10. So now let's calculate our slope now. Let's calculate our slope. So which point am I choosing? Yeah, so I have to calculate my slope. So yeah, I'm choosing this point now. I'm going to draw to meet what? To meet this point here. So I'm going to join that together. So I need to see which line I'm choosing now. So, so 
So I think I'll put these on that way. following the path so now this ones So, so here now we have a right angle. So this is a right angle. So now we can trace the two points here. Trace this point here. So to get your what? To get your x inverse two. Pi inverse two right there. So he goes. So we have what this is I inverse what two. Now take this one down here as well. So this one is high inverse one. So here we have what? We have D one and here we have what? We have D two. So that's that about that. So we have the i inverse 2, i inverse 1, d1 and d2. So let's calculate our, our slope now. Let me calculate our slope here that I can contain. So x is equal to what? Change in i inverse over change in d. So i inverse is per half here and d is what? Centimeter. So please take note of the, what? Of the unit. Now, so we need that what? Our what? Our look at this one is what 75 here. We have 75. This one is 75. What is 75? The minimum is 75. Minus this one is this one is 20, 15. This is 10, 15. We have 15 per ampere all over. Then your D2 is what? Your D2 is this is 3 point what? 6, 3.7, 3 3.8, this is 3.8, 0 minus, let's look at this, this is 3 point what? 3 3.6, 3.65, 3.6, 3.65, 3.6, this is 3.6, 3.6 what? 5, so, so 3.65 minus 3.6 minus 3, and as well as 1.65 and this is 1.5, 1.6 this almost 1.7 so this is in between of what? 1.65 centimeter centimeter so we have what? we have let's we have 75 75 minus 15 which is 60 so this one is 60 per pm 3.8 minus what? 1.6 what? 5. 3.8 minus 1.65. We have 2.15 centimeter now. So this one will now be what? So this one is 60 divided by 2.15. 60 divided by 1.2.15 divided by what? 
27.906. Now, what are you in this word? Per ampere. Now, when this one comes up again, it's gone what? Per centimeter. So, meaning that what? I believe that I have 27.91. Now, we can see this one is 5 per, 5 per. So, we have to put together 8 ampere centimeter per. So, this is what? This is our what? This is our value. This is our value. So, this is our value of our slope. Now, S now is down the slope and the intercept. The intercept is 1.1 centimeter. Evaluate S over what? We have to evaluate S over C. Now, normally we want to evaluate about S over, S over C now. We want to evaluate S over C. Let me do it here, but let me solve it here now. Evaluate what? S over what? C. So, we want S over C. Evaluate S over C. So, if I evaluate S over C, evaluate S over C. I just want to use this place. Don't use on the ground. Okay, let me use this place. Evaluate. Evaluate S over what? C. So, we have what? What is your X? Your S is the slope, which is 27.906 per ampere per centimeter, all over 1.10 centimeter. That's your intercept here, you can see, and your slope. So now, with that, now let's see what we get 27.907 divided by. 1.10 we have what 1.10 we have 1.10 we have 25.37 25.37 now what will be our unit what will be our unit this one also will go up again to become par so it will have become what to become par and par so par my, this one become minus one minus one minus one minus one will give us minus c minus c is power c m is power minus two so this one will not be what upper in bar upper per upper per centimeter what square so that is our what that is our unit here so that is that about what about the what the intercept now what are the precautions that I observe what are the precautions that I observe when Taking whatever, when you when, what, when carry out my readings, step two precautions taken to ensure accurate results. What are the precautions to ensure accurate results? Number one, I ensure tight connection. Number one, I ensured tight what connections. I ensure tight what connections. Connections. Number one, I ensure tight connection. Number two, I ensure that. The key is open when readings are not taken. I ensure that the, the key is open when readings are not taken. So now, so number three is what I avoid what error due to parallax. I avoid error. I avoid error due to what to parallax. When taking a reading on potentiometer, on potentiometer. Now, if you look at this very well, what we just calculate here look like what? The what? The graph here look like resistivity. Judging from the unit we have here, per ampere or look like it look like it might have anything concerning what resistivity. You can ask anything about this. So you need to read something about resistivity to look at what questions likely to be what asked. After you have plot the graph, you might ask you about to calculate what the resistivity of what of a material, the resistivity of the material of the length of the wire. So you must be able to record that resistivity is equal to R A over what over A. Resistivity is equal to what R A over what. A is equal to R A over what over A, where A A is the area, R is the resistance, L is the length of the wire or the materials, and R is the resistance. So with that, we have come to the end of the today's tutorial. Please do well to subscribe and press the notification button. 
And also, I update on this YouTube channel. Wish you all the best of luck in your world exam. Thank you. Bye bye. And God bless you. Amen.